So did you guys see it? Here's the clip uh, played again for you. Now I want you to watch for when this light coming up here and you'll see car lights about to speed by. I want you to look right above the car up in the sky now. Did you catch it? Well, let's slow down the video a little bit and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and what is perhaps some of the best footage to date that I've seen capturing a possible alien ship or some sort of highly secret military or government aircraft. Here's the footage slowed down and once again I want you to look directly above the oncoming car lights right as that car passes. I want you to look up in the general top left area and you will see this faint triangular shaped object slowly passing by overhead completely unbeknownst to the driver that captured this footage. So basically uh, I'm at a complete loss for words here. Um, a little background on this video. So as you all know, uh, I on every single video I post, I let everyone know that if they want to contact me with their own UFO footage or stories or images, or if they just want to talk or ask me a question, to email me. My contact info is below. So I probably get about between 50 to 100 emails per day, and a large handful of those emails will contain possible or alleged UFO footage. Uh, some of it turns out to be UFOs, some of it turns out to be things that are natural but were mistaken uh, for UFOs or crafts that could be explained. So about three days ago I was emailed uh, this video and I actually didn't get to it until today because it takes me a few days uh, to get to everyone's message. Uh, it's just impossible for me to go through all of the messages I get and respond usually within the same day. Uh, usually it takes a couple days to respond. So I finally got to this uh, to this email in the list and I downloaded the footage and uh, the email comes from a man in West Virginia who is a car enthusiast uh, car racer and had just finished souping up a new car he had purchased um, late last year and uh, he wanted to take it out and uh, see how far he could push it uh, speed wise and so at about one in the morning when he felt that the highway was clear enough, he drove to a stretch of highway that was pretty uh, straightforward and secluded so that he could test his car out. So that's what the video he captured here is of. It's basically dash cam video <clears throat> taken with his cell phone, which was basically propped up on the dashboard. And as you can see in the video, he's speeding. Uh, he said he was probably going. Uh, at the time of this video footage here, where we see this UFO, where we see this craft, he was probably going around 70 to 80 miles an hour. And at one point in the video, and, and it is extremely dark, and it was an extremely dark pitch black night, we see this triangular shaped craft pass by overhead, as almost as if it looks to me uh, like the craft was sitting still in the sky and as the motorist is speeding down the highway the craft begins to appear and is actually passed over well passed under uh, by the car and the gentleman recording now at the time he did not see this ufo um, the ufo is barely visible when when uh, looping back through the footage you can see some faint outlines of what look like a red colored outline which is in kind of a triangular shape there are definite circular objects underneath the craft and so when I saw this and I saw what looked to be possibly a UFO although it, it I, I don't know I don't think it's a reflection I definitely think that this was a craft and I'm going to show you why because when I took this video and I increased the brightness and the contrast this is what I saw And as you guys just saw, there is without a doubt, and after I uh, was able to review this with my video editing tools and increasing the contrast and bringing out as much light as I could, this object sticks out like a sore thumb. And the reason it sticks out is because it has lights around it. What we're seeing uh, is these outlines of these lights on the object, because the object itself, you can tell it's black or it's a very dark color and it's not lit. 
However, it does seem to have a faint red or pinkish glow that sort of wraps around the object and wraps around the underbelly, many parts of the underbelly. And as we loop back through this footage, you can see that this object has multiple circular objects underneath it, also glowing red. And it's in the typical TR3B style shape. Now, if you don't know what the TR3B is, it is a very mysterious uh, triangular shaped craft uh, that is said to have been created way back by the military. Uh, it can defy gravity. And while today it's basically still seen as a conspiracy theory, there have been many sightings of these triangular shaped crafts. Now that's not to say that this isn't an alien vehicle. The fact that there are theories out there about the government creating these TR-3B vehicles that are triangular in nature does not mean there have not been other pieces of footage captured showing similar objects that act differently and do not quite look like your typical TR-3B style craft. For instance, most people describe the TR-3B and from the people who have supposedly seen it, um, and I'm talking about ex-military, um, describe it and paint it in imagery as a triangular object with a light at each corner, which would make three lights, and then one large light in the center for a total of four lights. And as we slow down this footage and zoom in, we can clearly see that not only does this object glow around the outside, but it also has a circular object in the middle, it has two circular objects in the back, it has two more circular objects to the left and right of the middle circle, and then it has what looks like another object in the very front. So this has a few more of these circle, possibly propulsion related objects on the underbelly of this thing. Secondly, after carefully looking at the footage, this object does not seem to be a perfect triangle. It looks to be triangle in nature in the front. However, the back is more curved, like a circle. So basically, we're getting a teardrop shape, almost, where we have a point at the front and a circular back area, which is, once again, not something characteristic of the TR-3B vehicles. Nor have I ever seen any renditions uh, of the TR-3B that take on this shape. They are always a perfect triangle. So once again, back to this object, I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say. The footage speaks for itself. Uh, James, <clears throat> and by the way, if I didn't mention it before, James is the source who sent me the email. And again, he had no idea what this was. He was reviewing his footage and he saw something up. And you can notice in the video, there's a lot of lights, there's a lot of reflection. So while some may say that this could be a reflection from the dashboard, uh, the angle of the object, uh, the speed of the object, uh, leaves me with the belief that this is a real object outside the car. Um, it acts just as any other object would when being approached at a high rate of speed by a car. It passes by uh, with the same speed and characteristics of the overhead lights, of the overhead traffic lamps, and the signs, and the, and the passing cars in the oncoming lane. The more I view it, the more it sinks in that, that, man, this is real, and this guy has really captured something here. And that's what I told him. I've emailed him back multiple times. We've corresponded. The source is actually a little shooken up by this because he worries now, after I've shown him these images, uh, which I have. I've already shown him these images and these contrast and brightness enhanced versions uh, before posting this video to see what he thought, just to show him what I had found. And... Uh, he is, uh, needless to say, a little bit worried for his safety. Um, maybe not so much his safety, but he definitely does not want to be identified. He is worried that he may have caught something classified here, if it is a secret government project. Um, but once again, uh, I'm looking at this thing, and the way it... I mean, it's just creepy the way it sat in the sky. I mean, it's, it's in the middle of nowhere, in West Virginia, in the dark night sky. Where there's nobody out. And I, I just find it highly improbable that a government vehicle like this would be just sitting there in the sky, very faintly lit. I don't know, it, it just, in my heart of hearts, I, I just don't believe it's one of ours. So, I'm completely blown away, and as always, we wanted to post the footage for your guys. We wanted to get your analysis, uh, your comments. Uh, we want to know if you've seen something similar. If you have, please email us, let us know down in the comments. All I know to say is big thanks to the source who sent in this footage, who 
took a chance when um, it wasn't even clear to him that there was even anything worth looking at, and uh, he finally decided to send it in, and I'm happy he did. I think this is some amazing footage. My jaw dropped as soon as I saw it, and my jaw is still dropping as I'm talking to you, viewing these images, and watching this thing go by frame by frame, and yeah, it's just amazing. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, Jesus, I hope this video doesn't get taken down. That's all I'm worried about, because, I mean, just wow. Very few times do we get footage up close and personal with any amount of uh, solid detail. And this is, the, this is the footage that we get up for every day and wait for. And, you know, now that we have it, I have no doubt that there will be a stream of trolls in, um, calling it fake or calling it a reflection or calling it a bird or a kite. Um, it, it seems like every time we've posted something that is damning, like this piece of evidence here, uh, the government shills, they hit us hard. I mean, they are working overtime. And I'd, I've identified these guys on multiple videos. A lot of them uh, are using accounts that are created literally that day. Uh, they post the same thing on multiple videos. And they post in such a way that's very almost scientific. They're very crafty in the way they post comments to do the most damage and to cause the most skepticism. These guys are just dirty. Uh, however, the majority of you, I think, know the truth here, and it doesn't matter how many times this video gets taken down, we will get it back up. We have people right now making copies of it, ready to post backup versions. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Real special thanks to James, the source of this footage. He currently has probably about four hours of video um, from different test rides and, and cars that he's worked on that he's going to cycle through and also send me to go through. And we're going to see if we can't find anything else, something very mysterious happening in the skies over West Virginia. So, big thanks. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to share this video. Like it. Let's get it out there. Subscribe. And as always, stay tuned.